before you can uh, embody the light in purity, you have to embody the dark. And you have to take ownership and identity of your shadows. And I'm talking about the suppressed feelings around your childhood trauma. The shadows. The things that are negative about you. The things that make you feel negative about you. The things that make you feel bad. The things, the true nature that you have suppressed, the true feelings that you have suppressed in order to please your parents, to please others, to people please for acceptance. You see, that is all a pseudo persona that you and I have developed to be accepted in this world to be accepted by other people but we were not accepted for who we truly are and we suppressed those traits and those characteristics into the subconscious and that's the darkness I'm talking about a lot of you hold a lot of anger resentment um, over betrayal wounds, be abandonment wounds. You have to embody your demon before you can embody your angel in purity. Because if you try to be the light with these suppressed shadows uh, being stored up in your subconscious, those shadows, because it's frequency and vibration, the vibration of those shadows, the vibration of the anger and resentment that was never expressed, will taint your light. So to purify your vibration to the point where there is more or less no more trigger, means you have to give your shadows expression and that is what I mean by embodying your darkness, embodying your demons, embodying your suppressed emotions. Now this is the part that normally therapy is supposed to help you with um, because you have to express these things in a safe environment but where you don't hurt someone, right? It has to be with someone that can hold space for you with no judgment and allow you to express that and affirm you in your pain, in your hurt, in your feelings, in your emotions and let those come to the surface so you can feel them and re-experience them. And you might become a raging lunatic. Because depending on how long, how old you are and how long you have let that simmer under the surface, according to that length is going to be your explosion. But you're going to have to let it out or you're going to have a simmering volcano all the time whose, it's, whose vibration is going to taint and make your light impure, right? So become the demon first. Become the dark angel first. Clear these suppressed emotions. The rage, the anger, the resentment, the hatred. Forget about forgiveness. That comes later when you get into the light stage. But for now you need to acknowledge the demon. 
You need to acknowledge and own the darkness. Give it a hearing. Have it be seen by your conscious self. Acknowledge, affirm yourself in those emotions. And as you do that, those will clear out of your memory, out of your cellular memory, out of your nervous system. And as that clears, your body makes room for forgiveness, makes room to receive forgiveness for yourself, to receive love for yourself, to receive acceptance for yourself. And those are the frequencies that will illuminate your light, will brighten the luminescence of your light, your vibration. So to recap, you got to clean out the basement first before you can have a brilliant light in the upper floor, untainted by suppressed shadows. And then you can be a luminescent light being with a clean frequency, a pure frequency of light. I hope this helps. If you need a safe space, if you need um, empathetic listening service, I offer that um, for a reasonable fee. I can work with you. It's not obscenely expensive, but I do need to have a little bit of compensation for the time that I spend with you and give you. Okay, so hook up with me if uh, you'd like to do a session or two to identify and uh, show you how this is done. And then you can pretty much do it on your own. You don't have to constantly be buying sessions and be in therapy. You can actually do self-therapy like I have done. So, so I'm available if that's something you would like to explore. Take care.